Hi, I'm Tony Henry, and uh, I, in response to a question on horseforum.com uh, about mounting a horse, I thought I'd do a short video to show how to properly mount on a western saddle. This is a seven-year-old quarter horse mare. When I got her, she was green broke, and I've been working with her, so you can see that I've still got her in a bosal. We're not quite done with her. But uh, she, every once in a while, has a habit of taking a step or two while I'm trying to mount. So one of the things that I always do, when I'm getting ready to mount, I'll snug up on the reins. Now, there's some mistakes that I see quite often when people are mounting horses. You see it in the movies, you see it on TV, you see it in real life all the time. You see people grab the reins, and then they grab the horn, and then they put their foot in the stirrup, and then they grab the seat right here, grab the candle. Well, if you're going to do that, when you try to get on, at some point, you have to remove your hand from the candle in order to be able to swing your leg over. When you do that, with this hand holding the horn, you have no control over the horse. If the horse moves, if the horse bolts, if the horse runs, you're left hanging on to the saddle horn by one hand, likely having one foot in the stirrup, which is a very dangerous situation. So let me show you the proper way to get on a horse with a western saddle. The first thing you're going to do is in order to keep control of the horse, you're going to take the reins in your left hand, and you're going to have a good solid grip on them, and you're going to snug the reins up. Not so much that the horse thinks you're trying to make it back, but just snug enough so if something happens, you have control. Then I'm going to take my left hand, and I'm going to grab a whole handful of mane right there. Now that doesn't hurt a horse. It's not like pulling the hair head on, on your head. That doesn't bother her at all. You can see her. I can pull as hard as I want, and it just doesn't bother her. Grab a whole handful of mane right there. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab, you're going to stand aside like this, because if a horse is going to kick you, if you're with a horse that you don't know, and it's going to kick you, it can raise that foot right there and kick out to the side and do what we call a cow kick and catch you right in the buttocks if you're not watching what you're doing. So stand even with the foreleg up here, turn the stirrup, and put your left foot in the stirrup. With your right hand then, reach up and grab the saddle horn. Now you can get into position with your hand on the saddle horn and a hand on a handful of mane to stand straight up in the saddle. When you have stood straight up in the saddle, you can see that I have full control of the horse. Now another mistake from this point is people tend to lean over the saddle and then swing their leg over. Well at this point you've lost control because you're leaning way over the saddle. You're out of balance. So stand in the saddle, swing your leg over, find your other stirrup, get your saddle set, now I'm in. This way, mounting properly in this way, you always have control of the horse. If I'm standing here and the horse decides to walk off, I still have hold, I have a foot in the stirrup, I have a hold of the horn, and I have a hold of the reins. If I have to hold back here on the cantle, that means I have to hold the horn here. If I have to move my hand to get on the saddle, I have no control because I'm holding on to the horn with this hand. <clears throat> now from here, once I've mounted, I will leave the horse stand for, oh, however long it takes for her to calm down. You see her licking her lips? She'll lick her lips. She'll blink her eyes. She might bob her head down a little bit. That means she's relaxed, and I can start to move. If you get on a horse and it wants to go right away, you need to calm the horse and stop and make sure the horse understands that you're not going anywhere until you calm down. That's the way that I mount a horse, and that's the way to properly and safely mount in a western saddle. Thank you.